placed my heir upon the Iron Throne. And all the dragons roared as one. The weight of expectation for a TV show doesn't come much heavier as the first Game of Thrones prequel is about to arrive on our screens. Highly anticipated and reported to cost around £16 million per episode, there's plenty riding on this. Thrones left a, a huge cultural footprint and we're never going to be able to, to, to lay the same one, but we're trying to do something original and something yeah. new and something that feels like it's, it's our own. Based on George R. R. Martin's best-selling novels, Game of Thrones became arguably the biggest TV series ever. No matter what viewers thought of that ending, it was really just the beginning of what will be a huge franchise with several spin-offs in the works. It's a model we're familiar with thanks to Marvel and to Star Wars, and it means there's endless opportunities for prequels and sequels as long as viewers remain loyal to the throne. And with off-the-scale production design and a crew of 2,000 people, it was always going to be a challenge making this, and that's before you throw in a pandemic. I've got COVID. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I hope you're feeling Bow. okay. <laughs> I mean, listen, what was already complicated and hard yeah. was made more complicated and hard. And we often thought to ourselves, why on earth are we doing this right now? Why can't we wait? But the reality is, is you know, uh, you have to find a way. A woman would not inherit the Iron Throne because that is the order of things. It may be a fantasy series, but a story about women taking power feels particularly pertinent now. As a woman looking to rule, how do you convince your electorate, your male subjects, mm. that you are not other? How do you do that? And I feel like that's, it's kind of, yeah, I feel like that's a fundamental question of the work, which is why we wanted to do it. Mm. The possibility of a female leader, backstabbing, infighting. This latest instalment from Westeros seems perhaps not far from Westminster but will no doubt keep audiences gripped. Claire Gregory, Sky News.